Hello, and welcome to Husky News Network. Today is Friday, February 20th. I'm Joey Dominguez. Husky News Network is a production of NUTV, the only video production club on Northeastern's campus. We are run by the students for the student body. This is our first installment. We will bring you the news every two weeks on Friday. We begin over in the newest dorm on campus, East Village. The new dorm, which was opened this semester, houses mainly this year's NUN students. Liam O'Donnell followed up his previous story on the construction of the dorm to get student opinions. Most of the floors have a really nice view. Pretty much by the time you reach the fifth floor up, they all have like really, really nice views from all sides. I think that the most difficult part of living here is the elevator situation. So they put the new elevators in that basically you have to use a touchpad to enter your floor number before you get into the elevator. The general student body can apply to live in East Village starting summer one. On February 12th, the John D. O'Brien African American Institute held the first Back to Black Ball. We sat down with Nolan Tessis to recap. I think the rawness of the discussion was something that a lot of the Northeastern students weren't ready for. I think we've had Laverne and we've had Janet, um, but because of that, I think they're in the, the mainstream eye. Like they're, when they come here, they're a little bit more limited in terms of what they can say, and I think the content of the event really blew people away. Next, we go to Harvard Stadium, where Kristen Baker brings us a report on a fitness movement started by two Northeastern grads called the November Project. The two founders are planning to leave Boston to oversee the expansion of the project around the world. We caught up with them last semester to talk about their plan. Accidentally designed to get people to question the pay-to-play fitness model. So the idea that if you want to get in shape, you start by buying something, new shoes, new shorts, a gym membership. Whereas we think the first step is consistency, right? The first step is doing something, moving your body. With the MBTA struggling to handle the recent severe snowstorms, the need for funds is more pressing than ever. One possible solution is the UPASS program. Partnering universities with the MBTA, the program will provide a much needed influx of funds for the cash drop department, as well as discounted T-passes for students. Jess Grill sat down with one of the organizers pushing for the agreement on campus. I think that if everyone at Northeastern who is an undergrad student would be able to go anywhere within the city free of charge or of additional charge. It would just create this environment where you have people feeling as though they're able to freely move about the city without even having to think about it. That's it for now. We will be back Friday, March 5th. In the meantime, if you want to get involved with Husky News Network, we meet every week on Monday at 7 p.m. in 232 Curry Student Center. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at NUTV or like us on Facebook. If you have story ideas or your organization is holding an event you think should be covered, email us at nutvnews at gmail.com. I'm Joey Dominguez for our Husky News Network. Stay safe in that snow.